Okay, welcome to another tutorial by Sidelegeist for Visual Basic. Today I'll be showing you how to make icons like these. Icons for your browser, icons for your um, buttons, icons for the top of your browser, icons for pretty much anything that has to do with your browser. And I'll also be teaching you how to um, upload icons and such. Anyway, um, first of all, like in all tutorials, um, the place you download Visual Basic is microsoft.com slash express slash download and you download it right here. Okay. Let's begin. Okay, first of all, the main website I use to make icons is um, this one. I It's a I will put it next to this video in the description. It's rwdesigner-designer.com slash online um, under slash I am in underscore icon underscore maker dot php and you can download the professional one which I have all I have but it's not it's only if you if this can't meet your needs like if you're gonna make a circular like a refresh button or something circular and such, but most of the time you don't really need that. Um, okay, so if you're say if you're creating a back button, you can just use the pencil tool, select the color like a dark green, and you just and then whenever you want to uh, erase some of this, you can do the dry eyedropper, select transparent pencil. And then draw right over it, and then dropper green pencil. These this is pretty pixelated, so it's uh two, three, four, one, two, three, four. so it's um going to show up as little boxes basically, but that's okay. Once it once you see it from a longer distance and it's smaller, you won't notice the difference. It it, it won't look bad. Okay, so you just make a basic box shape for your go button, and then you can make the uh, a little end part of the go button. You just have to watch out with those pixels. It's kind of annoying, and I usually make it go out all the way I'm not gonna get perfect there okay so here we have a basic arrow and then you just do download icon mine is a little weird most of the time you'll be able to save it to wherever you want but um, for me I have to open it anyway and open and it'll open in GIMP since I have GIMP but for you it'll probably open in either something else or you won't want to open it at all you'll want to go to the saved location but I'm basically going to show you just ignore this um, let me just file save as and I'll save it to a location and show you how to upload it you need to remember where you're saving it to or find out where you're saving it to sometimes it can be difficult and I'll just save it as back button and then click save close this, I don't want this open anymore and then you just go into Visual Basic with, with your application, we made this in a previous tutorial and um, back button Okay, uh, let me create a new back button. Okay, this button will be the back button. Let me add a separator between it. You're gonna wanna have a separator. But you can use this for just uh, favorite buttons also. It doesn't really matter. I'm I'm just doing it this way because I don't wanna have to draw something for, you know. I'm not a great drawer. And then you just click on the button. You go over here to the image to the image 
and it'll say system drawn drawing bitmap just click the little dot 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 sign import find your um, icon you'll have to change this to all files because it's going to be in an icon file and here it is you open it and press ok and as you can see now my button is a back button you can do that with favorite buttons and everything in right here you can even make one for your browser I always use a certain one but just click on the back browser thing and once you've made one or you, if you even have a picture you like on your computer then you can just go icon open and just find a picture you like I always use um, Wow, this one has to be an icon file apparently. Hold on. Yeah, this one has to be an icon file. So, just uh, use this. Are you using you use an icon you have? And then uh, for these, they don't have to be icon files. So you can just do open, import, find a picture you like. I mean, I'll use this one. And it doesn't matter if it goes past this, that's that's normal. And press OK, and see it's right there. Of course you can't see it very good. So, clear, wait, clear, OK. I'll just put that at default again. Or I'll just use something else oh, don't ask what those are those are just pictures ignore them anyway so now you have your icons you have a back button you can make restart buttons it doesn't matter your possibilities are pretty much endless so you just clear it and make more and you can also download this by just clicking on it going here and doing download installation package it ignore anything that says you have to buy it you don't you can just do download installation package rw icon editor 32 and it'll pop up and you can save it and run it anyway i hope this tutorial was helpful and i guess i'll see you next time in the next tutorial we'll be going over uh... more advanced scriptings like a back button refresh button stop button home button forward button such as that type of thing. Anyway, um, signing off.